My name is Makoto Takamiya. I'm from University of Tokyo. In this video, I'm going to talk about wearable healthcare devices using flexible electronics. This slide shows remarkable applications of electronics today. In the symposium on virtual circuits, a lot of papers are presented for IoT, wearable, and implantable applications. In my talk today, I'll focus on wearable applications. What are the key requirements for wearable devices? The first requirement is wearing unconscious devices. A conventional of these advantage devices are still bulky and are not comfortable are not comfortable. To achieve wearing unconscious devices, ultra flexible or very small size devices are required. And of course, wireless connection is required. The second requirement is maintenance free device. For example, conventional smartphone requires everyday charging. This is not maintenance free. To achieve maintenance free devices, energy autonomy is required. Energy autonomy is required by low energy operation and energy harvesting. In my talk today, I'll focus on ultra flexible devices and energy harvesting. Organic electronics is one, which, one of the choice for wearable, wearable applications. Organic transistors are fabricated on a thin plastic film. And organic transistors can be fabricated on a large area film by using a printing technology. Therefore, organic electronics are flexible and large area devices. When organic transistor film are attached to a human skin, it fits the human skin very well because it is thin and flexible. Therefore, organic electronics is good for wearable applications. I'll show you a video of organic transistors fabricated on one micrometer thickness pen film. This is an example of ultra flexible organic circuits. The organic transistors are fabricated on one micrometer six pen film on top of thick plastic film to support the same film. After the device, device fabrication, the same plastic film is, is peeled off by hand. The transistor film is very flexible and lightweight, and it flies like a butterfly. When the film is dropped, it falls like a foreign leaf. When the organic transistor seat is attached to the moving surface of human skin, it closely fits the human skin. Therefore, it is very good for wearable applications. I'd like to discuss the advantage of organic FET over the conventional silicon MOSFET. This table compares organic FET with the conventional silicon MOSFET. In our organic FET, the minimum gate length is 20 micrometer. And organic FET is a mechanical flex flexibility, and on current is 50 nanoamp per micrometer at 2 volt VDD and the gate delay is 10 milliseconds at 2 volts. And the cost per area of organic FET is lower than that of silicon MOSFET. However, cost per transistor of organic FET is higher than that of silicon MOSFET. And the lifetime of organic, lifetime of organic FET is shorter than that of silicon MOSFET. Therefore, organic FET has two advantages. The first advantage is mechanical flexibility, and second advantage is low cost per area. 
Therefore, the target application of organic FET should be flexible and large area. In the Symposium of Virus Circuit 2016, this paper is a good example of flexible electronics. The paper is presented at session 13.2. In this paper, EXO-TFT is applied for flexible audio back application. In this paper, wireless communication is achieved by using EXO-TFTs. This slide summarizes our developed flexible and large area organic FET applications. In the e-skin, pressure sensor array were integrated with organic transistors. In a flexible scanner, photo detector array were integrated. In a braille display, plastic actuator array were integrated. In a wireless power transmission seat, coil array were integrated. In a wireless communication seat, capacitive coupling array were integrated. In an EM, EMA measurement seat, coil array were integrated. User customized logic paper is kind of a gate array by using the printed, printed interconnect using an inkjet printer. 100 volt AC energy meter is example of high voltage application of organic electronics. In solar pedometer is used to count the number of steps. Electromyograph measurement sheet measures the surface, 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 surface muscle potential to control the prosthetic, prosthetic hand. Wet sensor is used in a diaper, and fever alarm armband is used to check the human body temperature. These new applications using organic transistors are presented at ICCC 2004 to 2015. In my talk today, I'll show you the detail of insolpidometer. Here is a developed insolpidometer. The insolpidometer is put into the shoes, and during the walking, energy is harvested and the number of steps are counted. The silver, silver film is a PBDF sheet for the piezoelectric energy harvesting. And the two-volt organic circuit are used to rectify the AC input to the DC voltage and to, to count the number of steps by using counter circuit. This insole pedometer is an example of energy autonomous wearable healthcare devices. I'll show you the video of flexible piezoelectric energy harvester. The silver film is a PVD film. First, the PVD film are cut into small pieces. After that, the PVD film is rolled to increase the harvested power. Then the rolls are parallelly connected to increase the harvested power. The PVD film is connected to the oscilloscope to check the harvested voltage. When the PVD film is pushed by hand, the AC voltage is generated. The peak to peak voltage got two volts. Then the PVD film is connected to the LED. You can see LED is turned on by the piezoelectric energy harvesting. Here is a block diagram of insolpidometer. In this organic circuit design, only PMOS was available. NMOS was not available because the mobility and reliability of NMOS is worse than that of PMOS. Therefore, we developed all PMOS full wave rectifier circuit and all PMOS counter circuit. In a counter circuit design, we develop pseudo schema circuit technique. Pseudo CMOS is a circuit technique to achieve high gain in a logic gate by using only PMOS FETs. This shows the 
measured two bit organic counter circuit. The right figure shows the fabricated organic circuit, and the left figure shows the measured wave form of the two bit counter circuit. In this case, maximum operating frequency of the counter was 4.4 Hz. 4.4 Hz was enough to count the number of steps. Therefore, it is important to find a good application to match the device performance. I'd like to summarize my talk. The advantage of organic FET over the conventional silicon MOSFET is mechanical flexibility and low cost per area. And I'd like to give some successful tips to design a circuit with emerging transistors such as organic FETs. First of all, please clarify the advantage of new transistor over the conventional silicon MOSFET before start your circuit design. It is the most important point. After that, cross communication with device engineer is very important. Because in the circuit design with new transistor, transistor model is not fixed, and the layout rule is not also fixed. So you need to find a trade-off point between the performance and yield or reliability by a discussion with device engineer. And typically, new te new tran emerging transistor shows large variability and low yield. Therefore, large sigma and low yield tolerant circuit design technique is very important. Thank you so much for your kind attention. Mm -hmm.